G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazine and we're doing a test on a Stessel boat today and a Stessel we haven't tested for a long time because Stessel's been a bit in the wilderness recently but it's got a new owner now, Scotty James from Stessel Boats. Must be exciting to take on such an iconic Australian brand. Mate, it's very exciting. It's a, a new chapter for us um, and we're looking forward to, to what it holds. And I think Stessel is now, it's sort of nearly coming home, isn't it, to the Gold Coast. You, you make all your brands of both South East Queensland on the Gold Coast and it, it is, it's come home, hasn't it? It has, mate, it has. We're, we've actually, my father's had a, a bit of history with Stessel in the past. Um, he was their general manager many years ago. So during the era of the Edge Tracker and, and the development of all that, um, it's now sort of come to our stable and, yep. and we're going to grow it. You betcha, and, and you've done that already. The dealer network, you've got 15 dealers around Australia and That's it's correct. growing pretty quickly. It, is. it yep. is, And of course, everybody out there knows Stessel Boats. It's one of the, it is one of those iconic brands and they've been around for a long time. So, so the one we're looking at today, we're looking at the 440 Apache Pro, and this is a great entry-level boat that you can literally tow with any car on the market, can't you? That's correct, that's correct. Like a, a Toyota Camry or anything like that, easily tow this. and. It's good value for money. Yeah, and this is the boat that you get into when you want to get off the bank and open up that other 90% of the water that you can't get to. Sick a paddle in the kayak. Yeah. But also want a boat that's a little bit family friendly. Like this isn't a bare tinny, it's got floors, it's got the bimini top. Just take us through some of the features. Some of the key features with this boat is three mil bottoms, three mil sides, so nice tough. reverse yeah. chine, yeah. Um, plenty of ribs uh, for internal strength, fully welded underneath the gunnels, fully welded side decks, raised casting deck, checker plate four deck. 100 litre keeper tank up the front as yep. standard. Yep. 25 litre bait tank already plumbed as standard as well. Yeah, and if you wanted to put a, a trolling motor up the front, I know it's set up at the moment to tie ropes on and grab handles, yep. but they can be modified in the factory to fit the yeah, electric motors. Yeah, we, we fit quite a lot of them, the electric motor setups. Um, these days, with your new Minn and motor guides, very popular. Yeah, you hardly see a boat on the water nowadays without that ability to control the drift down the river. Look, this is a great looking boat. We're gonna do what we do with all the boat tests at Fishing Monthly. We're gonna put it on the water, get some performance stats, and come back to you to tell you just how she went. Well, I had a lot of fun playing with this 440 Apache on the Tweed River here. It really took me back to my boating roots. I ordered my first Stessel when I was around 20 years old from the factory was in Logan home. It was a 3.7 metre edge tracker, the 20 horsepower Merc on the back. And at the time, I had to order all the options to get a boat that's fitted out just like this. And it's really interesting to know that nowadays, this Stessel is, is a basic package. Um, and it is a great package if you want to take that step from not boating into boating. Uh, it costs you under 16 grand for this package as tested. $15,490 and for that you get a beamy boat with a whole lot of workspace in it. Uh, this is 2.05 metres wide, it's very stable, it's got a lot of room because there's not a lot occluding your ability to cast. This one has the bimini top, um, That's of course that of course is optional um, and there's no problem to put a min coat or a trolling motor on the front to turn this into a great little sport fishing boat. Um, performance wise out of the water at wide open throttle this gave us 46 kilometres of an hour with the tide on the tweed so around 45 kilometres an hour top speed is what you can expect out of this um, and around 30 to 32 kilometers an hour it was a really economical cruising speed we had no fuel metering on the boat but I know a 25 litre standard tank would take you a long way uh, definitely a weekend of fishing around your local area 
fishing wise, there's nothing wrong with having an unpainted boat. If you're doing a lot of crabbing, a lot of fishing, if you're sneaking up little creeks to put crab pots in, if you're casting for prawns, you don't really want a painted boat. So to get into this level, uh, for the boat of this price, it's better to be on the water than to be on the water painted. Let's talk about the Yamaha 40. It's a carburetted motor, it's not a four stroke and that keeps that boat down to a price point. And uh, as they say on the castle, there's nothing like the smell of two stroke in the morning. You can smell it with this thing, but there is basically, if you keep fuel and spark to this thing, it will go forever and ever. It's one of Yamaha's biggest selling and longest lasting motors in their range. For more information, visit stessel.com.au. If you like social media, like Stessel Boats on Facebook, or you can drop into one of 15 Stessel dealers nationally to check out the 440 Apache Pro.